The Pixel 10 Pro Fold is coming, and if you're even thinking about going foldable this year, you'll want to hear this. Google's next-gen foldable isn't a revolution, but it might be their most refined and confident release yet. So should you wait for it or grab the Pixel 9 Pro Fold on sale right now? Let's break it all down. Google's foldable journey has been an interesting one. The original Pixel Fold in 2023, more of a concept test than a flagship, chunky bezels, awkward hinge, and that classic first-gen energy. But by 2024, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold brought real polish, sleeker build, fewer bugs, and a much better user experience. So where does that leave the Pixel 10 Pro Fold in 2025? It's shaping up to be a refine and polish year. Don't expect a wild redesign, but here's what is coming. 50 megapixel Samsung GN8 main sensor, 10.5 megapixel ultrawide, 8 megapixel telephoto with 5x zoom, plus dual 10 megapixel selfie cams. Sound familiar? That's because it's almost the same as last year, just slightly better. Still, thanks to Google's unmatched computational photography, expect top-tier results even if the hardware doesn't wow you. Yep, the camera bar is back. Expect the same satin finish, Gorilla Glass Victus, and Google's signature square aspect ratio when unfolded. Two color options again, obsidian and porcelain. Clean and minimal. 8-inch inner and 6.3-inch outer OLED displays 120 hertz, up to 2700 nits brightness, crisp, smooth, and perfect under sunlight. Battery stays around 4650 mAh, with solid all-day performance, but charging still lags. 21 watt wireds, 7.5 watt wireless. Google's switching to TSMC for its new Tensor P5 chip built on a 3NM processor. Expect modest performance gains, but better power efficiency and improve AI capabilities. Introducing PixelSense, your personalized assistant that taps into Gmail, Maps, YouTube, and more to help you throughout your day. Think of it like Google Now, but smarter, faster, and more integrated. You'll get Android 16 out of the box and a hopping seven years of updates. Plus, better multitasking, floating windows, and features tailored for foldables. Still no stylus support, which might disappoint no fans. But here's a twist. Google is ditching Qualcomm and Samsung modems in favor of MediaTek's T900. Bold move that could improve power and pricing. So should you wait? If you want Google's latest and greatest and a foldable that feels uniquely Pixel, it's worth holding out. But if the Pixel 9 Pro Fold gets a sweet discount, it's still a fantastic buy. Tell me. What feature matters most to you in a foldable? Let's chat in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives just like this. See you in the next one.